Skull and Bones is a pirate game. And in pirate games, arguably the thing that is most important is your ship. Your ship is your base. Therefore, you need to understand what ship you're using and more importantly, how to use it. In today's video, we will go through the ship types and their advantages and disadvantages they have against each other. But before we get into the video, I just want to tell you guys about my personal channel where I upload GTA online content such as guides, tutorials and tips and trick videos yeah and how to earn money on the game so if you like gt online and reddit online and also skull and bones now then i suggest to subscribe to this channel open vision and also my jones mcflurry channel for gt online if you do that you are an absolute legend anyway getting back into the video start off the video i just want to talk a bit about ship customization because ships in this game are fully customizable and they are also available in multiple class types. At the beginning of the game you will start with only a DAO. This is a small ship good for hunting and gathering items, I will talk about this later. But each ship class has weapons or abilities unique to its type as well as a unique crew. The ship's abilities include a high damage ultimate that is placed on a cooldown timer once it is used you could think of this ultimate like something like an ultimate in a game like overwatch where you have where it charges up and then when you've used it you need to charge it up again or you have a cooldown and you can also choose additional options to customize this includes weapons sails figureheads wheels and many more items you can customize on your ship you can design unique logos to be displayed on your ship to identify who you are and what you stand for. As I said, there are different types of ship or class types of ships in this game. And those three classes that we know of, at least now, is cargo ships, navigation ships and firepower ships. Cargo ships are slow, but they are a sturdy ship type. From their name, you can figure out so much that they are great for carrying loot, but they are not so good in combat. Well, you can still load a few weapons onto your cargo ship, being mindful of size and weight. These ships are best for short distance challenges where you have to deliver large amounts of loot or items. I would not recommend using the cargo ship for getting around the map or anything like that. This is a ship you use if you have lots of loot, lots of items, and you need to bring them from A to B next class of ships we have is the navigation ships and the navigation ships are the fastest ship type and of course with excellent navigational properties the navigation ships are fast but still has weapons and still has loot capacity but a lot less than the cargo ship and the firepower ship as i see it now the, the navigation ship could maybe be something in the middle of the cargo ship and firepower ship since it also ha has some speed but Primarily, it will be used as a ship to get you fast from one place to another place. If you have to take single loot item from one place to another very fast, you can use a navigation ship to get there the fastest you can. The next class and the last class we are going through today is the fire power ships. The first power ships are also very heavy and slow, similar to the cargo ships, and they also have minimal navigation, but they are able to carry a massive arsenal. Fire power ships will of course be used when heading into dangerous waters and fighting enemies. You could think of the fire power ships like a cargo ship, just you switch out the carrying loot part for having a lot of weapons or a lot of weapons slots. It seems like it's practically the same ship, just with a lot of weapons instead of lots of loot. I would also think the armor on the firepower ships are better because it's a fighting ship and therefore this would naturally be what you would fight other players with if you were going to steal loot or raid someone. Onto the individual ships now. The first ship I will talk about is the DAO. And as I said in the beginning of the video, the DAO is the smallest ship in the game, but it is good for hunting and gathering items. It is also the ship that you begin with when you start the game for the first time. So the DAO is small, you can't fit many people on it, and it's not particularly fast, not very good at navigation, not having a lot of loot, but it is decent at everything where it's all right at everything. 
you will of course get better ships later on in the game and you can choose which ship you want to use for which scenario but that's another video next ship is the sandbook and the sandbook we have not got enough information on yet so i will just mention it there is coming a ship called sandbook also they're coming there's coming a ship called padavakang sorry if i pronounced that name wrong but we also don't have too much information about this ship but what we have about these ships is that these are pretty normal or standard asian uh, indian ocean ships so they do fit in the ocean we are roaming but that's basically all information we have about it but we also have the brig and the brig we have some information about of all the ships revealed so far the brig is one of skull and bones biggest and hardest hitting vessels it has plenty of capacity for weaponry and armor and of course it is also fully customizable as all the other boats and ships in this game we've also had some gameplay in a gameplay trailer from ubisoft themselves that show that a brig with a front mounted multi-tank greek fire weapon which releases massive flames that rapidly burn enemy ships that sentence in itself is just crazy the brig seems like an op ship in my opinion but the brig isn't even the most imposing vessel in the game and also like the brigantine which i will talk about in a second it's labeled as a medium ship. larger better and nastier armed vessels may sail the seats of skull and bones but the brig will certainly be a solid choice for fighting other players and npcs and whatever you're trying to fight when you have a front mounted multi-tank greek fire weapon at your disposal man I, I don't know what could stop you man talking about the bring it in a developer described it as the fastest ship in the game which does make sense because the ship falls into the navigation category which we talked about which was the fastest category of ships the brigantine is also categorized as medium which again could mean that there are bigger and mightier ships that could roam the seas of skull and bones which is just an insane thought because these ships are massive but there may be ships that we haven't seen yet that could be even bigger even better even crazier than these ships we also got the frigate and frigates are very large squared rig rigged ships they carry 44 guns on two decks making them one of the most per powerful ships in existence this is not in the game though this is just a description of the real frigate we don't know how it would be in the game but probably something similar to this and definitely in the firepower category the last ship i will the last ship i will mention now is the sloop of wars again we do not know much about this ship but its name is sloop of wars right so here is probably what everybody in this video has been waiting on and that is the ship combat the ship combat in this game works like this you can raise lower and trim sails to adjust speed to slow an opponent down you can fire cannons through their sails to create holes for the wind to pass through you can also damage the ship's hull to allow boarding or to even sink their ship their weapons fire and reload at a very fast speed which can make for a fast paced combat the ships are also relatively agile so moving around or moving so you can actually shoot a, another ship will not be very hard this should be easily done with practice some weapons in this game include broadside cannons chase cannons rockets and mortars players can also rotate between available weapons using the controls on your ship so far that is basically everything we have got surrounding the ships in this game to me they seem cool and it will be exciting to see them in action also what do you think about the ships is there anything you would like ubisoft to change or implement to make them better let me know everything in the comments anyway i hope you enjoyed this awesome video and if so go downstairs and throw that like button into the wall so it turns blue
And of course, don't forget to subscribe. That's all for today. I'll see you next week, lads. Farewell. Yeah.